Foul on Bean. I think that's his first foul. Putting Sage on the free throw line. One or two, check that, not a shooting foul. Foul on the floor. Inbound to Cheryl, to Robinson. Swing it around to Surratt. Surratt, far side wing. Penetrates, up, stop, off the glass, good. Little jump stop, makes it 20 to eight. 12 point advantage. Under seven to go in the half. Here's Cameron, fall away shot in the lane, no good. Rebound saved Surratt. Surratt ahead of the dribble. Pulls up a shot, takes it down rather, inside to Young Cheryl off the glass, too strong. Rebound Bean. Loses the basketball, picked up in the backcourt by East Lincoln. And Cameron Dollars got him, dribbles into forecourt. He'll drive, pump stop, up good. Makes it 20 to 10. Nice job of avoiding the charge from Langdon Gibbons. 6.15 to go, first Federal Savings back scoreboard, Lincoln in lead by 10. Robbie Cowley to Robinson. Robinson baseline, gets it blocked out of bounds. It'll be Lincoln in basketball. 6.05 in the quarter. 20 to 10 is the score. Derek and Evan with you on a Thursday night. Don't do many Thursday night basketball games, do we? No, we do not. In the lane, underhanded finger roll shot. Good by Sage Surratt to make it 22 to 10. 12 point lead. East Lincoln can't quite get under 10, Smoke. No, they just haven't been able to get off to a good start here. Sydney Dollar attempts a three and makes three it. Three made it. Well, there you go. Nine point deficit. 22 to 13. 541 to go. Try to trim this lead down to about five at least by halftime. They're going to have to keep it within 10. Just can't hover around a nine point 10 deficit. Here's Cowie. Cowie to Robinson. Robinson. Sage will drive, shot, falling away, good, just inside the arc to make it 24 to 13, 519 to go, first half of play. Colson Leach back in there, thought about a three, steps up, a two instead, makes it 24 15. Mustangs down by nine with under five to go in the half. Cowie's got it, long three, no good. Rebound Bean, Bean out to Leach. Leach far side wing, thought about a three. In the corner to Burleson, back up top. Sydney will, uh, Cameron will take the three, rather makes it. He's starting to get confident again. He followed through a shot there as Lincoln takes a timeout. We'll pause as well. Back in a moment, high school basketball, 10.50 a.m., kbcbroadcasting.com and the Ustream app. It's a Husqvarna closeout sale on the remaining 2016 model Husqvarna mowers, including the Husqvarna zero-turn mowers at Al Lane Kubota and Motorsports in Lincoln. Come on in now for their preseason specials. Ask about 0% financing for up to 42 months. Right now, there's a big selection to choose from, and Al Lane is having a chainsaw clearance sale Prices have been slashed. Get ready for springtime with a trip to Al Lane Kubota and Motorsports, Highway 27 east of Lincoln at the Highway 73 intersection and online at allanemotorsports.com. where I come from. All right, four minutes and 38 seconds. Mustangs to within eight, closest they've been in a while, Smokes, is early on. Yeah. All right, here's Sage Surratt with the basketball being guarded by Bean inside the lane. Underhanded pass trying to go underneath to young Cheryl. Cheryl couldn't get a handle of the basketball. It's out of bounds. It'll be East Lincoln's basketball with 4.27 to go in the second quarter. They trail by six, 24-18. Yeah, young didn't see that pass coming. I, nope. he's, what, uh, he's, I think he saw it, but I thought he, he thought it was going to be at his chest instead of right at his knees. Bean up top. Inside to Cameron, lost it, got it back, trying to post up, one-handed shot, good. A post up over Young Cheryl to get to within four, 24 to 20. Looked like his right foot was playing twister there. 4.02 to go, midway through the second quarter of play. Hadn't scored in a while. Robinson will take it inside the lane, spin around a couple of times off the glass, strong and in. 26 to 20, 347 in the half. That's the first time he scored. He's been quiet throughout the playoffs so far. Colson Leach has got it. Over on the far side wing. Looking to get a pick. 
Doesn't get one. Go back to Sydney underneath the Cameron. Goes up, fouled by Young Cheryl. That would have been the easy two buckets there, but Sydney was just a little bit too ahead of that pass to Cameron. But fortunately, he does get a uh, foul and a trip to the Eddie's Auto Parts free throw line as Langdon now has two fouls. 26-20, first Federal Savings Bank scoreboard. Three minutes and 29 seconds in the half. Free throw up and good by Cameron Donald, the UNC Charlotte future 49er football player. And he got heated up in the second quarter in the last game. He's gotten heated up in this one so far in the second quarter. Second one. Good. Nothing but net to make it 26-22, 3.28 and a half. Robinson to Cowie to Cheryl to Surratt. Surratt three falls away. No good. Cameron had a hand on it. Off of him, out of bounds. It'll be linking this basketball once again. You got it. Uh, Skyler Evans is back in the ball game, just in case you. Uh, yep. So uh, he has been playing a lot of reserve minutes as of late, and been playing with the starters a sure lot. Has. Sure has. Robinson against Sydney. Right side to. Cowie back up top to Robinson. Yeah, they're trying to get backdoor cuts for the three-point shooters. Near side wing to Cowie. Cowie foul line puts up a shot. No good over top of the glass. Cameron with the rebound gives it up to his brother. Come down here to Burleson. Thought about a three. He'll drive the lane off the glass too strong. Missed it. Bean off of him on the rebounding try. I don't know. That looked like it was off Bean, but uh, maybe a Lincolnton. Yeah, it was off Lincolnton. Okay. I thought it was all being too. Inbound to Sydney, underneath, knocked away. Sage got it. He's on the run. Two on one break. Layup, good. 28 22, six point Lincoln an advantage with two minutes and 34 seconds in the half. Yeah, at least he's got to be careful there. That could have been his third foul if he uh, would have gotten the whistle there. Here's Leach on the near side wing. He'll take it, drive, underhanded shot, and there will be a blocking foul on a wolf and that will be young Cheryl, young Cheryl. yeah leads a little hard it took a little while to get up good to see him up that was a pretty hard fall he took on the free throw line will be colson leach a six foot two junior 30 point game the other night in the loss up uh, good 28-23, 2.21 to go in the quarter. And he's the one that struggled with the free throws down the stretch to see if he can make both of these at the end. He's out of parks, free throw line. Second one. Up and good. Made a pair. 28-24. East Lincoln to within four. 2.18 to go. Give it over to Cheryl. Cheryl goes up. Missed it, had a hand on the rebounding try, out of bounds off of him. It'll be East Lincoln basketball. Now Tyshawn Harris going to check back in. He's been great off the bench as well with Skyler Evans. He play, actually scores more than Skyler Evans off the bench. It's very athletic. So it's going to be interesting to see what he can do here. 206 in the half, 24 28 is the score. First Federal Savings Bank scoreboard. John Bean's got it top of the key. Left side wing, near side to Leach. Leach over to Burleson, three ball. Burleson, no good. He's been cold tonight. Got the rebound back underneath to Burleson, and he will walk with the basketball as he put it on the floor, tried to go back up, and sometimes you'll walk with it. And East Lincoln right now, they've got the lead back to within four, but they're having too many careless turnovers right now. 28-24. 96 seconds in the half. Cowie's got it to say near midcourt, near the big L. Cowie's got it back. In the corner, baseline he goes. Back up top to Robinson. Robinson about ran into Sage. Robinson's got it. Go back to Cowie. Three baseline, no good. Rebound Tyshawn Harris. Gets it back up, loses the basketball. Kicking will be the call on East Lincoln, and it should be Lincoln in basketball. And right there, Tyshawn Harris just showed his athleticism. He's one of the smallest guys on the court, but man, he could leap up there and get that rebound there. That's going to be a key for Lincolnton. Zirkel in. 
Burleson out. Bean came back in, I believe. Sage will take it, stop in the lane, good. Little jump stop, 30-26, under a minute to go in the half. First Federal Savings Bank scoreboard, Lincoln in by six. Winding down the first half of play here. Zirkel, far side wing, the corner to Sydney Dollar. Bounce inside to Cameron, post up, one-handed shot, no good. Rebound being fought for. Mustangs got it back. Here is Zirkel, takes it up, hammered and fouled by Tyshawn Harris. A hard hit again for Colson Leach. That's the second time in this quarter. Leach, excuse me, not Zirkel, yeah. It's good to see Leach all right. He got up quicker after that one, but two hard hits to the ground on this wood. It's got to be tough for him to take. 34.6, free throw, good. 30-25, 34.6 seconds in the half. Stangs to within five, can they make it four? Yes. Burleson coming back in. And Leach out with 34.6 uh, on the clock. I assume one last shot for the Lincoln Wolves with a four point advantage. Tyshawn underneath, they weren't gonna stall it. Turnover. Mustangs with the last chance with 15 Cameron seconds. Cameron his brother, or Sydney wasn't looking, almost traveled there. Sydney's got it. Drives the lane with seven, underhanded shot, no good. Rebound, four seconds, three seconds, two seconds. Sage at the buzzer, no good. And we have played one half here of the Class 2A state playoff matchup between East Lingen and Lingen. It is Lingen and 30, East Lingen 26. Back in a moment, high school basketball on 10.50 a.m. KBCBroadcasting.com and the Ustream app. It's cornbread and chicken where I come from. The President's Day sale is underway at Renato Auto Mall in Shelby. I cannot tell a lie. You can't beat the deals found at Renato Auto Mall in Shelby. Come in now and take 0% APR financing up to 66 months plus $1,000 cash bonus on the 2016 Kia Optimus. Take $9,000 off MSRP on the new 2016 GMC Sierra 1500 truck. And buy a new 2017 Honda HRV LX for $183 a month. 0.9% financing up to 60 months at Renato Auto Mall, 4423 East Dixon Boulevard in Shelby, right below the Cleveland Mall. First Federal Savings Bank has been serving Lincoln County for over 75 years. Customer service is a priority at First Federal Savings Bank, where they want to get to know you by name. First Federal Savings Bank has the convenience, products, and services of larger banks with hometown people that you see throughout your community. They live here, they work here, and this community matters to the people at First Federal Savings Bank. First Federal Savings Bank has four convenient locations in downtown Lincoln, and Boger City, Denver, and West Lincoln. Stop in and visit and see what First Federal Savings Bank has to offer you. Member FDIC, an equal housing lender. There's a storm coming. We may not know its path, but your independent auto owner's insurance agent knows no matter what happens, we'll be there when you need us most. Strong through every storm. That's how it's been for our first 100 years and how it will be for generations to come. Your local auto owner's insurance agency is East Lincoln Insurance Agency on Highway 16 in Denver. Call 704-483-3243. In my mind, I'm gone to Carolina. It's like going on vacation without leaving town. At the Glen Oaks Golf Club in Maiden, sure there's golf, but there's a whole lot more, like their swimming pool, driving range, picnic shelter, and their new clubhouse, featuring a snack bar and a big banquet room. Great for weddings, receptions, class, and family reunions. 
So for a fun day of golf and much, much more, see Glen Oaks Golf Course. Call 828-428-2451. 828-428-2451. Online at glenoaksgolf.com. Who do you think you are, Mr. Big Stop? We're community-minded, we believe in what we do. We love this town, we live in just like you. We're a community bank. That's why we always try to approach things from a community-minded point of view. When something is in the best interest of the communities we serve, it's good for We're community-minded, just like you. Carolina Trust Bank, member FDIC. Community-minded, just like you. We're community-minded, just like you. Carolina Trust Bank, with three offices in Lincoln, also in Gastonia, Denver, Forest City, Hickory, Lake, Lure, and Vale. Member FDIC, an equal housing lender. All right, back here at Lincolnton High School. We've reached halftime between East Lincoln and Lincolnton. But as you are now listening to the Abernathy Chrysler Jeep Dodge Halftime Show, as the score at halftime here on the First Federal Savings Bank scoreboard is East Lincoln trailing Lincolnton 30 to 26 here at this jam-packed crowd. No seat found right here, right now at Lincolnton High School. We're going to go over the stats here. First, for the visiting Mustangs of East Lincoln, Sydney Dollars put in a solid first half. Not points-wise, but everything else, he's been doing a good job. Five points, five rebounds, and an assist to go with it. Cameron Dollar had a s slow start to the game, but in the second quarter picked it up like he did last Friday in the conference championship game. He now has 14 points, four boards, and no assists. John Bean has three rebounds. Alec Burleson been quiet, been missing a lot of shots off the bench. He's gotten a rebound and two assists, and Alden Horn has one point as that went from the free throw line. And also, Colson Leach, after going extremely cold and being in foul trouble, he four free four out of four on the free throw line, six points in total, assists, and a rebound to go with it. And Ben Zirkel, who has had to come in for uh, Colson Leach, has a rebound. And that rounds out the stats for East Lincoln. Now let's go to the Lincolnton Wolves. Chris Robinson, two points, one assist, two assists, one rebound. Quiet night for him. Yeah, he has been pretty quiet throughout the playoffs so far, scoring-wise. Sade Surratt, pretty usual first half for him. 17 points, six boards, and two assists. And go to Robbie Cowie. Had a great start, but has not been uh, hot ever since then. Six points, two rebounds. And Young Sherrills, two points, three rebounds, and one assist. Has had quite the dominant night on the boards as he did Tuesday night against Lexington. And now Langdon Givens rounds out the scoring list with three points and an assist. And the last stat to show you is Skyler Evans has one rebound off the bench for the Lincolnton Wolves. Once again, a score here at Lincolnton High School at halftime on the Abernathy Chrysler Jeep Dodge Halftime Show. Lincolnton on top of the East Lincoln Mustangs, 30 to 26. We're about four minutes away from the second half beginning as both teams are now coming back out here to get warmed up here at Lincolnton High School. Thank you for listening to the Abernathy Chrysler Jeep Dodge Halftime Show, and we'll be back for the second half. Sooner or later, everyone wants to make their home dreams a reality. And Key Builders in Lincoln is here to help make your home dreams come true. Visit their website at keybuildersnc.com and visit their gallery of homes and floor plans. Or they will build from your dream home floor plan too. They'll be there to help you with every step of the way. So for your dream home, visit Key Builders in Lincoln, 1459 North Aspen Street in Lincoln. Or again online at keybuildersnc.com. Make a joyful noise cheering our favorite high school football teams on Friday nights and our favorite college teams on Saturday. The Family of Faith at Ryan Heights United Methodist Church would like to invite you to come and make a joyful noise for the Lord on Sundays. Sunday school is at 10 and worship is at 11. Ryan Heights United Methodist Church is in Lincoln Street, just up from Betty Ross Park. Come make a joyful noise with us.
When you need a ride, Specialized Transport has exactly what you're looking for. Serving Gaston, Lincoln, Catawba, Burke, Caldwell, and Cleveland counties, Specialized Transport has your area covered. Ambulatory, wheelchair, and geriatric chair transport, handicap transportation services, and non-medical transport services are available as well. When you need a ride, call Dean Hastings at 704-735-5676. Specialized Transport will get you where you need to be. 704-735-5676. For over 100 years, the Stamey Tysinger Funeral Home in Falston has been providing services to family with care and compassion. And now the Stamey Funeral Home has added the Cremation Center along with a new name, the Stamey Tysinger Funeral Home and Cremation Center. The Stamey Tysinger Funeral Home and Cremation Center on Highway 182 in Falston and the Stamey Funeral Home in Cherryville, located on Dixie Street in Cherryville, serving you with care and compassion in your time of need. Be sure to visit Eddie's Auto Parts, 2514 East Main Street in Lincoln, and your local CarQuest distributor. When you want some help from a fellow car lover, it's all in one place, as you'll discover. Roll in, roll fast, and roll on. All right, back we are, Derek Smith and Evan Ludwig, KBCBroadcasting.com's. Playoff game here tonight, Class 2A matchup. Second time these teams have played, Langdon versus East Langdon. We're not an automall broadcast. And uh, getting set for the second half, Evan. And, you know, here we are, four-point game, and, you know, no telling what's going to happen the next 16 minutes. No, and, you know, it looked like it was out of reach. It looked like it was about to get ugly for East Lincoln early on in that second quarter, but they started to get a run. Uh, specifically, Cameron Dollar started to get hot. And uh, Cameron Dollar basically is the ebb and flow of this offense. If he's hot, the rest of the team usually is hot. And if he's not, uh, you, you get the rest. You know, Cameron Dollar dictates how this East Lincoln team plays, and he's going to have a huge factor in what happens to, in the rest of this game for the Mustangs. All right, here we go. Second half, another eight-minute quarter, 30 to 26. First Federal Savings Bank scoreboard. Wolves had a 12-point lead at one time. It's been cut to four here to begin the second half of play. Lincoln and basketball moving right to left on your radio dial. Robinson's got the basketball. Sage Sherratt, far side wing. Holds high. Backs up a little bit. Gives it to Cowie, top of the key. Cowie against Sidney Dollar. Go over to Gibbons. Gibbons will run the point. Robinson will come up top, get a pick, drive, running shot in the lane, layup, no good. Rebound Cameron Dollar. Into four court of the dribble will be Colson Leach. Leach to Sydney Dollar. Right side to Cameron, drive, baseline off the glass, good. He faded away, ha- yeah. he faded away there and only shot with one hand there. Impressive from Cameron Dollar. Within two, hadn't been that close in a long, long time, since maybe two nothing. 30 to 28, Wolves by two. Mustangs making a hard charge here in the second half. Just underway in the period. Robinson, near side wing to save Surratt, top of the key. He'll drive, stop, one-handed shot, no good. Rebound comes into Robinson's hand, pushes a shot up, no good on the follow. Rebound, Bean. Bean, backcourt pass to Cameron Dollar. Cameron will run the point now for the Mustangs. Comes over this side to Alden Horn, he'll drive, loses the basketball. Rebound comes down to Sage. Kind of a loose ball rebound. Yeah, Sage got lucky there because he left that lane open for Horn to drive to the basket. Cowie's got it, pulls up an NBA three-point shot and misses it. Rebound tracked down by Cheryl, back to Cowie, didn't take it, gives it to Sage. Sage will drive underneath the basket. Double team goes up, no good, no foul. Rebound, Sydney Dollar. 6.06 6.06 in the third quarter play, 30 to 28. Mustangs to within two, they trail, they've got the ball. 
not led since 2-0. See Cameron Dollar telling Colson Leach what to do here. Shows you how much of a general he is on the court. Bing with the basketball, being pestered by Gibbons. Gives it up to Leach. Leach will drive against Robinson, draw a foul. It'll be a two-shot opportunity, the charity strike for Colson Leach. First foul for Chris Robinson, the freshman, with 5.42 to go on the scoreboard. First Federal Savings Bank scoreboard has Lincoln and up by two. Still up by two. First free throw missed by Colson Leach. Yeah, he had a terrific first half shooting on the free throw line after struggling in the championship game. That's his first miss now, first miss now four or five tonight at the charity strike. Second one. Forthcoming. On the way, missed both of them. Could have tied up the ball game. Still down by two. Robinson with it now. He'll drive. Give it up. Givens off the glass. Good. Four point lead now for Langdon. 32 28. 5 32 to go in the third quarter of play. Miss an opportunity there, Smoke. Yeah, yeah. And that could possibly haunt Link uh, East Lincoln as the game goes on. Those two missed free throws. I mean, you got to make your free throws, and it's continuing to haunt Colson Leach, it looks like right now. Five of ten down the stretch in the loss on Friday for the Mustangs. Turnover, Sage got the basketball. Horn's got to take that shot there. He can't pass it. He'll take it coast to coast, stop, get it blocked. The rebound comes back out to Gibbons. Three for Robinson, no good. Rebound comes back to Sage. He'll take it up, get it stripped, no foul. Rebound, East Lincoln. Cameron ahead, shot. Colson Leach, no good. Rebound in the corner. We got a what we got here. Yeah, yeah it's a hook foul on Langdon Gibbons. He wants to foul on John Bean, but Bean could not get the rebound because Langdon Gibbons hooked his arm there. Brilliant call by the ref, and he's trying to calm Langdon down. And now that's Gibbons' third foul, so Skyler Evans going to have why He's pretty upset. Yeah, and I, I like that the ref decided to try and calm him down here. You know, this is a big game. Don't give them the technical, just give them a warning there, and I, I like what that referee did. Not a shooting foul, inbounds to Sydney, back to Cameron, Cameron three in the corner, good! 32-31 to within one are the Mustangs with four minutes and 36 seconds in the third quarter of play. First Federal Savings Bank scoreboard. Robbie Cowie, far side wing. Up top, left side, near side wing to Sage Surratt. Surratt, three pulls up, no good. Rebound fought for in the corner, loose ball, whistle, jump ball, possession arrow belongs to Mustangs. East Lincoln. This time they will get the possession. Uh, remember that early in the game, the possession arrow was for East Lincoln on that wedgie, and they gave it the ball back to Lincolnton. All right, they're within one. Can they take the lead? First time they've had the lead since 2-0, if they do. Midway through the third quarter of play, 4.05 to go in the third. Sydney Dollar to Cameron. Cameron, drive, post up, one out, shot up and good off the glass, one-hander. 33-32, Mustangs on top by a point. Young Cheryl to Robinson, near side wing. Robinson three pulls up. Good, Robinson. Equalizer, 35-33. Turnover. Pass down the floor, picked off by Cowie. And then he loses the basketball. Front row of the bleachers, far side. East Lincoln basketball with 3.35 to go in the third quarter of play. They trail by two, 35-33. Had a lead for just a moment. Sydney Dollar, bounce pass to his brother off the leg of a Lincoln player in the corner. Underneath the basket will be Mustangs basketball. Inside to Sydney, back to Cameron, same shot. A moment ago, good, same results. 36-33 in the corner, a three-point shot to give the Mustangs a one-point advantage with 3.14 to go in the third quarter. Deja vu. Yes, sir. Sage spun in the lane. He was fouled on the floor before he got the shot off. That could have been a charge there, too, so that's close. Uh, four. Actually, I think they called that on. Uh, they called it on Circle. I thought they called it on Dollar there for a moment. Inbounds play to Robinson near midcourt. Wolves down by a point, 36 to 35. 305 to go in the third quarter. Cowie to Surratt. Surratt, he'll drive around 
Cameron off the glass, drew a foul, no good, he'll shoot two. I don't really know what Cameron Dollar did wrong on that one. Neither do the partisan Mustang fans on this side of the gym where we're set up. But that is Cameron Dollar's first foul, so he's not in any foul trouble right now. 2.56 on the clock. Wolves down by a point. Surratt on the line. Still down by a point. Missed the first free throw. He's now one for three in the ball game here as Ashley's debating, asking why that was a foul call to one of the referees. But St. Surratt struggling early on here at this uh, Eddie's Auto Park free throw line. 36-35, tie ball game, made one of two. Second one is in. We've got a timeout. We'll pause as well. High School Basketball, 10.50 a.m. KDCBroadcasting.com and the Ustream app on your mobile device. Turner Hauser Insurance Group has moved. Moved into the new location at 228 East Main Street in downtown Lincoln, and you're invited to come by. Jamie Hauser can help you with your home, auto, commercial, farm, or life insurance needs. Turner Hauser Insurance Group is here to serve their community and help you protect what matters. Visit the new location, Turner Hauser Insurance Group, 228 East Main Street in downtown Lincoln, and just look for the big blue awning. Online at turnerhauserins.com. Call 704-732-9577. All right, Smoke, we've got a good one again. 36-36, 2.56 to go in the third quarter play. Tie ball game. Coach Cowie called time. It'll be Mustangs basketball. And here we go. Cameron to Sydney, back to Cameron. Top of the key, far side, drive, follow away shot off the glass, show up and in. It didn't look like it was going to go in. I don't know how we got that in. Just Cameron Dollar's been asked. Oh, three by Robinson right down the floor. He kind of hesitated for a second. That's why I hesitated, but he made it. 39 38, back up by one is Lincoln. 226 in the third quarter of play. I thought he drugged the foot for a second, almost traveled. Here's East Lincoln's basketball, and Sage just grabbed Cameron by the back of the jersey as he made his way to the basket. He's been really aggressive as that Sage, the second foul, uh, where he's been trying to steal the ball a lot, and that's been costing them on defensively for the Wolves. Been a holding call in football. Yeah. Here's another three, no good by Cameron. Rebound Cowie. Cameron trying to take over this ball game. Here's Robinson in the corner. He's been hot. He'll try again. Three. God, my gosh, the freshman knocked back another three-point shot. Yeah, he's no longer being quiet in this game. Just left too much space, and Coach Ashley is not happy about that. Will pause as well. Back in a moment, high school basketball, 10 to 3 a.m., kdcbroadcasting.com, and the Ustream app on your mobile device. When Auto Owners Insurance was founded in 1916, the world was quite different. Yet with all that's changed, our commitment to be there when you need us most hasn't. By teaming up with independent agents, we've made a difference for generations of customers and will for generations to come. And by making a difference every day, 100 years seem to go by in a flash. Your local Auto Honors Insurance Agency is Mooney Insurance Agency. Located at 528 East Main Street in Maiden. Call 828-428-8231. One fifty-four, third quarter play. Lincoln and 42, East Lincoln 38. Robinson hit a three and Coach Ashley called a timeout. Mustang basketball. This is Ben Zirkel who's come in. The Sydney Dollar far side wing. In the corner to Burleson who's also checked in. Pass intended for Cameron. Sage took it up off the glass. Good on the turnover. 44-38, 90 seconds in the third quarter of play. Bad pass by Sidney Dare. Cameron was pretty guarded heavily by Sage. Another bad pass yep. is stolen by Sage. Sure Smith tried to go inside to Cameron. Sage got it back. He's double teamed. No foul. Now we got a whistle. Backcourt foul on Sage Surratt as he was double teamed by Cameron and I think maybe John Bean. It's on John Bean, yeah, so that's sure his is. second foul. That's his second foul. 
Just careless turnovers on two straight possessions by Sidney Dollar. Going to have to be a whole lot more careful with his passes and uh, where he wants to go with the ball. 72 seconds in the period. Wolves up by six, 44-38. Sage Surratt with the basketball underneath the basket. Reverse, had it blocked. Ah, oh, jump ball, jump ball. Nice Possession job belongs B. to Langadon. Had it blocked, but it was a jump ball. So 59.8 seconds. Surratt to inbound beneath his own basket. Under a minute to go in the quarter. Inside to Tayshawn Harris, alley-oop, good! Tayshawn Harris, nobody covered him. Well, he's got the hops for it, even though he's the smallest guy on the court. And say Tratt took advantage of that there. 46-38, 48 secons in the third quarter of play. First Federal Savings Bank scoreboard. Wolves up by eight, fall away shot near the free throw line, missed by Cameron. Sidney got the board, pulls it out. Three back out to his brother, no good. Rebound Surratt, he's been all over the place with rebounding. Nine rebounds now. 27 yeah. seconds. One last shot, I assume. 46-38, Wolves up comfortably by eight. Had a tie ball game to begin this period, and there's a foul. Oh, what's he got here? Charge. It looks like, yeah, I believe that's it. I'm trying to see if it's on Sage or Tyshawn. It's on Tyshawn Harris. That's the second Away foul. from the basketball. Yeah, it's setting the pick there. Setting the pick, yep. This could be big here. Beasley can get a basket before the end of the quarter. Down by eight, 10 seconds in the third. Cameron Dollar to Burleson. Burleson wants to go inside to Sydney. One-handed shot, good with two seconds. One second shot at the buzzer, no good. And we have played three here. It is Lincoln in 46, East Lincoln 40. Back in a moment, high school basketball. 10.50 a.m., KBCBroadcasting.com, the Ustream app on your mobile device. It's the best deal of the year right now at Abernathy's Chevrolet Buick GMC in Lincoln. Save big during Abernathy's pre-owned inventory blowout sale. They all gotta go. Check out the great deals on cars, trucks, SUVs, and vans. Save thousands of dollars. Find out why more people buy again and again from Abernathy's Chevrolet Buick GMC in Lincoln. Come experience the Abernathy Advantage today at Abernathy's Chevrolet Buick GMC, 1445 East Main Street in Lincoln, online at abernathychevrolet.com. Eight minutes left in this ball game. Lingadon by six, Smoke, and in for a barn burner, I think. Yeah, I believe so, too. It's only a six-point game. East Lincoln's been hanging in there. I had to lead there for a moment in the third quarter before Lincoln got it back to eight, but Sidney Dollar able to get a little shot in at the last few seconds to make it a six-point game. We got ourselves a good one, like you said, Derek. All right. First Federal Savings Bank scoreboard shows the Lincoln and Wolves up by six in this Class A second-round matchup. Fourth time these teams have met this season. Eighth time in two years. Mustangs won all four last year. Wolves trying to sweep all four this year. Mustang basketball left to right in radio dial. Here's Ben Zirkel. Knocked away. Sage Surratt with the turnover. He'll take it coast to coast. Layup good. Surratt lead is eight now for Lincoln. Yeah, he's been aggressive. He's had a couple foul calls and gave up some defensive uh, lapses there, but he's been able to get a lot of steals and a lot of points off of that, too. 7.35 to go in the game. It's an eight-point lead for Lincoln. And first Federal Savings Bank scoreboard. Mustang's going to slow it down. Sidney Dollar goes over to Zirkel. Zirkel in the corner to Burleson. Burleson comes up top on the dribble. He's in the wing between the legs. Dribble in the corner to Sydney. Bounce pass inside. Knocked away. Sydney tracks it back down near midcourt. They're trying to get it in there to Cameron. Now yep. they finally do. Trying to post up his dollar. Cameron underhanded shot good as he scoops through the lane. And it is up and in. 48-42 to within six of the Mustang. Under seven to go in the ballgame. Now they're going to have to get some big defensive stops and get the rebounds here. Here's Robinson to Cowie. Cowie, far side wing. Zirkel's got him over there. He's been extremely quiet since the start this game. Move, yeah. Moving screen, I believe. Yeah, on Skyler Evans. That's the second one in a couple of minutes for the Wolves. 
And now uh, Lincoln's only two fouls away from being in the bonus for East Lincoln. Uh, East Lincoln's only two fouls away from the bonus here as East Lincoln only has three fouls in the second half. 48-42, 6.38 to go. First Federal Savings Bank scoreboard. Wolves up by six. Mustangs basketball. In the corner to Burleson. Burleson's been quiet. Guarded heavily. Inside bounce pass knocked away by Sage. Ahead to Robinson against Burleson. He's fouled hard. A hit to the head there by Burleson. Just another bad pass by Sydney trying to get it into John Bean, but Bean wasn't ready. So Robinson on the free throw line now. It's the first time we've seen uh, Robinson at the Eddie's Auto Parts free throw line tonight. Game winner the other night in overtime. Up and good. 49-42, seven-point advantage for Langadon. 6.21 to go in this ballgame. Now Langadon Gibbons coming back in uh, to spell uh, Langdon, uh, Skyler Evans, excuse me, uh, to the pine. Second one is good, made a pair. Lead moves out to eight. 6.19 to go in the ball game. Mustang basketball. Cameron Dollar bounces to Sydney. Sydney, near side wing. Comes up top to Cameron, his brother. Free throw shot falls away just inside the arc to make it 50 to 44. Six to go in the contest. Here's a long three by Sage, it's up and good. 53 to 44. Can't give him any room at all. Mustangs basketball. Cameron Dollar. He'll take it inside the lane, trying to post up against Surratt. Falls away. Had a shot blocked by Sage. Ahead to Cheryl. Cheryl way up. No good. Foul by Sydney Dollar. That's Sydney's second foul as Young Charles takes a trip to the Eddie's other parts free throw line. Five minutes and 40 seconds to go in the ball game. 53 to 44. Wolves on top with Young Cheryl on the free throw line. His former head coach Scott Harrell crossed the way on the bleachers front row watching his former Ironman play for the Lincoln and Wolves. Second shot is up in good. 55 to 44. The lead is now. 11? Yeah. Wow. I had to stop and think about that for a second. 5.30 to go. Fourth quarter of play. Bean underneath. One-handed shot. Zirkle up and good. Check that out. And Horn up and good. We've got a timeout. We'll break as well. High school basketball, 10.50 a.m. KBCBroadcasting.com and the Ustream app. The Start Something New Sales event is underway at Abernathy Chrysler Jeep Dodge in Lincoln. Find out how you can get $3,000 total cash or 0% financing for 60 months and $2,500 bonus cash on the new 2016 Dodge Charger. Don't miss it, the Start Something New Sales event. Going on now at Abernathy Chrysler Jeep Dodge, 1442 East Main Street in Lincoln. It's time to start something new at Abernathy Chrysler Jeep Dodge in Lincoln. Five minutes and 25 seconds in the fourth quarter of play. It is Lincoln and 55. East Lincoln 46, first middle savings bank scoreboard. All of a sudden, 11 point advantage, uh, nine point advantage rather for Lincoln. Yeah, and you know, I think a large part of it is East Lincoln's being so dependent on Cameron right now that they're taking so long to develop the plays to get to Cameron, and then the, just the possession just messes up. And you also, Colson Leach has been extremely quiet tonight. He's not even on the court. It's not, he's only had one field goal, and that came in the second quarter. All right, Lincoln and basketball moving right to left. Surratt may take it coast to coast. He will stop in the lane. Shot short, no good. Rebound Bean to Burleson. Ahead to Cameron. Cameron on the run. He'll take it underhanded shot. Good, Cameron Dollar. 55 to 48. 505 to go in the game. Two within seven are the Mustangs with the Wolves having the basketball now. Robbie Cowie, near side wing. He backs up to Sage Chirac. Chirac, inside, stop, underhanded pass intended for Givens, off the hands of Givens. It'll be East Lincoln's basketball. And I think the ball was placed perfectly there by Surratt. Givens just was not expecting that pass to happen. Four minutes and 40 seconds to go. 55 to 48 is the score. Wolves on top. Mustangs got the rock. 
Come over this way to Burleson. Look to go inside. Can't do it. Come up top to Sydney. Sydney three too strong. Rebound. Young Cheryl out to Cowie in the backcourt. Oh, he throws it away and hit it for Sage. It'll be East Lincoln basketball. No, wow. let's see what happened here. Gonna say no? I guess they're gonna say it Grace Cameron Dollar's hands oh, there. Oh, man, must have. Big break there for the Wolves. They'll keep it with 4.15 to go. 55 to 48, first Federal Savings Bank scoreboard. Derek and Evan winning the Thursday night, round two, class 2A state playoffs. Under hand, underneath the basket, rather, the pass intended for Gibbons out of bounds off of John Bean. John Bean. Yeah, Bean touched it after Langdon Gibbons lost control of it and uh, gave Lincolnton the ball back, basically. 3.58 to go. Inbounds to Cheryl. Cheryl up top to Robinson. Robinson will back it up now. He'll drive. Underhanded pass knocked away. Sydney to Cameron. Cameron lost it. Back him off the glass. Good. Recovery nice for Cameron Dollar to make it 55 to 50. 3.39 to go in this ball game. Man alive, what are we going to see here the last three minutes, Smoke? I don't know. I just can't wait to see. All right. Here's Sage Surratt to Robbie Cowley. Look at this dude that's making some noise over there with the chance in unison. Ashley yelling instructions as Sydney tried to steal it from Cowley. Down to 314, five point lead. Here's Sage underneath to Young Cheryl off the glass, pushed it in good. 57 to 50, timeout and we will pause as well. Back in a moment, high school basketball, 10.50 a.m. KDC Broadcasting.com with the Ustream app. The voice of Woody Durham calling the Hills games brought bright smiles to the faces of Tar Heel fans everywhere. Dr. John L. Cloninger III of Lincolnton will brighten your smiles with professional cosmetic dentistry and smile enhancement procedures for everyone. Even Duke fans will smile at the work of this Tar Heel. The office of Dr. John L. Cloninger III is located at 904 Doncha Drive. For an appointment, call 704-735-0765. That's 704-735-0765. And John III says best wishes to all high school athletes. Back we are, 57 to 50, 307 to go in this ball game. Lingenden by seven. Been a dandy so far. Coach Cowley called time. Teams back out on the floor. Capacity crowd here at the gym in Lincolnton. Students' bodies on both sides standing. And full. Overflow crowd up and down the sides of the building. The stairs. Mustang basketball trailing by seven. Three minutes to go in the ballgame. Here's John Bean, far side wing. Underneath, knocked away, picked up by Sage. Coast to coast, layup go. That just showed, that was an advantage for young Cheryl. Just shows how much Arnold he had to poke that ball on the pass as Cameron Pump fakes it three tries ago. Now misses, gets the rebound, and gets the layup. Back up and in. Good follow by Cameron, and we'll call time. Back in a moment, high school basketball, 10.50 a.m., KBCBroadcasting.com and the Ustream app. It's the Subway Sub of the Day. Each day of the week, you get a different six-inch sub for just $3.50. Monday, the Sweet Onion Chicken Teriyaki Sub. Tuesday, the Oven Roasted Chicken Sub. Wednesday, the Turkey Breast Sub. Thursday, the Italian BMT Sub. Friday, the Tuna Sub. Saturday, the Black Forest Ham Sub. And Sunday, the Meatball Marinara Sub. Your choice, just $3.50. The Sub of the Day from Subway in Boca City and the Walmart in Lincolnton. You don't pull a mask off at old long range. Two minutes and 36 seconds left in this contest. 59 to 52. Wolves up by seven. First Federal Savings Bank scoreboard. Is that a final? I don't know if that's a final, but the girls who upset Lincolnton Tuesday night are currently up uh, by a 
three points over Maiden right now. So in Lincolnton, they have two of their key players hurt, and they are doing a great job so far in the playoffs. Grace Canella must be having a quiet, quiet night for the Lady Blue Devils. All right, Wolves basketball, two minutes and 30 seconds to go in the ball game. Seven-point lead for the home team. Robbie Cowie's got it up top against Cameron. Cameron, uh, rather Sydney stuck his hand in there for the foul. Yeah, back. Not a shooting foul at this point. And the next foul will be a bonus for Lincolnton as now Colson Leach finally checking back in. And actually, no, it's not Colson Leach. It's Luke Zirkel. Something must have happened. Or Ben Zirkel. Ben Zirkel, yeah. Something must have happened to Colson Leach or he got hurt or something. I don't know because he hasn't been in the game, I don't think, in the second half. No, he had Inbounds backcourt to Surratt against Cameron Dollar. Former teammates now opposing members of this squad tonight. 59 to 52, two minutes and nine seconds left in the ballgame. And they're doing what they want to. They're, they're, they're be getting clock off there. Yep. Trying to take some time off the clock, kind of spreading things out in the four corners. Sage Surratt running the point. Cameron tries to stick in there. He can't. Sage will take it. Foul by Sydney up near the foul line. And it is a one and one. That's now Sydney's fourth foul there. One plus one from the charity strike. Sage Surratt, future Wake Forest Demon Deacon football player. Minute 53 to go. Wolves up by seven. First Federal Savings Bank scoreboard, 59 to 52. Free throw, good. Eight point advantage for Lincoln. 60-52. Second one, forthcoming. In the air, through the net, good. 61-52, a minute 50 to go. Mustang's got to get something going quick. Here's Cameron Dollar. Three off the mark, no good. Rebound, Young Cheryl. Gives it to Sage, who's fouled immediately in the backcourt by Cameron Dollar. 140 to go. You, you don't want to foul Sage there, because he's just been money or just he's one of the best free throw shooters in the state so I don't think Sage is really scared about shooting free throws in uh, clutch situations he did that to beat Smoky Mountain a couple years ago to go to the state championship game a few folks getting up and leaving Smoke I don't know up why you good. did that yeah, after yeah, last I mean, Friday I mean yeah they made that mistake last week that, that might uh, I'm hoping that's a neutral fan or something trying to beat the traffic but you never know Beat the traffic in Lincoln, right? <laughs> Second yeah. one's up and good. 63 to 52, 11 point lead, 97 seconds in the ball game. Foul Burleson was fouled by Gibbons, stopping the clock at 91 seconds. And I believe that will send. Uh, nope, not no, yet. No, will not, no. Not yet. No. Not yet. Next foul, Will. Sydney to inbounds. Near his bench, tried to go alley -oop. can't do it. Go to his brother, Cameron. Cameron will drive baseline, partially blocked. Bean got it back, went up and was fouled. Stopping the clock at a minute 25 to go. That's uh, young Cheryl with the foul, that's a second. John Bean gonna have to be money here from the free throw line. You can now to get every point you can. Made it. 63-53. Ten-point lead for Lincolnton. Second shot being no good. Rebound Surratt. He's been all over the boards tonight. It's now ten uh, rebounds yep. as he got fouled by one of the dollars. Yep. See if it's on Sydney. Timeout. We'll oh. pause as well. Back That's in a moment. Timeout. High school basketball at 10:50 a.m. KBC Broadcasting.com and the Ustream app on your mobile device. Drew, 
This new city just makes me miss home, man. Go get a sweet tea from McDonald's. They make it fresh, sweet, and it's icy cold, just like your mom's. But I miss home home. Oh, so you miss your mom telling you to make sure your room's clean? Or close the fridge, Ryan, and stop letting all the cool air out. Or turn them lights off, <laughs> All right, got it. The sweet tea is just right. But you know I'm going to tell my mom you got jokes. No, no, don't. This is no joke. Stop by McDonald's and get a large sweet tea for just a dollar all summer long. Large sweet tea, just a buck. Price and participation may vary. Limited time only. In my mind, I'm gone to Cal- All right, Smirk, a minute 22 in the ball game, 63 to 53, Lincoln it up by 10. Have the Mustangs got a chance? Well, Lincoln, uh, we all fought, counted Lincoln out last week down by 10 around this exact same time to go. Uh, so I'll say no. Uh, I mean, I, yes, they do have a chance. Uh, so. I mean, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. A couple of quick threes, and you're back in there with a yeah. possession or two. Yeah, but, you know, East doesn't have the same amount of guys that can shoot the ball from behind the arc as Lincolnton does, especially in their starting lineup. Colson Leach has not been back in this game since early in the third quarter, and he's one of your best three-point shooters along with Cameron Dollar. And All Sydney. right, some backcourt pressure now by the Mustangs. It's a fan uh, leaving early. He walked right in front of Cowie, trying to inbound the ball. The Sage did not get fouled. Down underneath to Shero. Off the glass. Good. And he's fouled. 65-53. The lead is now 12. Could be 13 with 116 to go. I know you don't want to foul Sage, but if you leave him up with that much open room with you, that many guys in the backcourt, he's going to find an open man. And unfortunately, uh, Zirkel got the legs of young Cheryl as he makes the basket. That was on Burleson. I believe. Uh, it's well, Burleson Liston checked it in. Yeah, Burleson uh, checked in. Excuse me. Free throw. Cheryl missed it. Rebound Cameron. Mustangs down by 12. 62 seconds to go. Here's Cameron Dollar. Puts up a shot. Falls away. Right side and out. No good. Rebound Sydney Dollar. Gives it back out to Burleson. Burleson three in and out. No good. Rebound knocked out of bounds off the hands of Cheryl to belong to the Mustangs with 59.7 seconds to go. They're down by 12, though. Need a miracle. Inbounds. Cameron looking for a three to Burleson. Thought about a three. Over on that side, a three in and out. No good. Rebound. Cheryl fouled. Walked the other way for some free throws. And I just think with so many guys just it can't shoot the three like Cameron and you're down 12 it's going to be I don't know if they can get back into this especially if Young makes these both of these free throws here as uh, Lincoln's now on the double bonus as now more fans are fouling out yeah getting out of here 65 to 53 52.7 left free throw no good I tell you what, though, I wouldn't be a fan leaving right now. Second shot up and good. 66, 53, 52.7 seconds. Here come the Mustangs, down big, down by 13. Cameron trying to three up and good. Three-point shot, timeout call. We'll break as well. High school basketball, 10.50 a.m. KBCBroadcasting.com and the Ustream app on your mobile device. Get the cutting edge, get the commercial grade with Kubota's new Z700 series, Commercial Zero Turn More. That raises the bar for quality, durability, precision, and all-around value from Parker Farm Service in Kings Mountain. No other mower in its class even comes close. Cut with the best, cut with the Kubota Z700 with a comprehensive two-year warranty. See Parker Farm Service, 126 Bessie Drive in Kings Mountain. Ask for the new Kubota Z700. Forty-three point three seconds in this contest. Sixty-six to fifty-six. Uh -oh. and the clock just went out. <laughs> Whoa! The clock just went blank. No, the clock. Oh my! Oh, that's oh, back, on, huh? back on. Oh, almost had a near uh, heart attack there, man. We did. I mean, we're, I guess we're gonna have to do it ma manually. Manually. Ooh, that'd Ooh. be tough. Especially in uh, this big of a game here. It's glad that they got that fixed quickly. All right. Again, forty-three. Point three seconds. Wolves up by 10. 66-56. First Federal Savings Bank scoreboard. 
Wolves basketball. Backcourt pressure now by the Mustangs. Nice, foul nice. away from the ball. Foul on Young Cheryl, who's not the not, best free yeah, throw. Agreed. And you foul it without losing any time at all. Nice job by Coach Ashley. I think he learned from the mistake last week of uh, not fouling Say or anyone before that last inbounds pass. But the chair will transfer on the line. No good. And his former coach wa uh, watches this. Yeah. Now Cindy Dollar checks in, who probably will not be taking any fouls since he has four fouls. That must be Cherubel got knocked out the other night? Yes. Yes. Free throw good, made one of two. 67-56, 42 point seconds. Cameron Dollar ahead, looking for a three, puts it up, no good. Rebound Sydney on the hands. Cameron got it back, three in the corner, no good. Rebound Sydney back out to Burleson. Burleson up top, three, no good again. Rebound Surratt. 26 seconds. Surratt ahead, layup, no good. Rebound Young Cheryl to Robinson with 17 seconds. That'll about do it. Foul on Robinson. 67-56. Lincoln and the students go crazy over there on the far side. Yeah, they know they got this one on Robin. Complete a 4-0 sweep against East Lincoln. And that's wow, just, wow, it's a tough way to end the season there for East Lincoln. Losing to the same team four times. Robinson, free throw, no good. Crowd starting to get out of here. And now everyone now checking into the game, minus Chris Robinson, Lane Hoover, Jacob Dixon, uh, let's see, Jeffrey Diaz and Donnie Thompson. We should have, I uh, believe, Tyrone, uh, number 24, I don't have his number. It must be a JV call-up. Free throw, no good. 16 seconds, here's Cameron Dollar. Shot, last shot of his career maybe, no good. Nine seconds, eight seconds, being no good. Rebound back out to Cameron. That'll be the last shot of his career, and it's good. Oh my, 1.1 seconds, 67-59. What could be the last shot of the storied career of Cameron Dollar. Skills on to football next year. And he will be coming out, I believe. I'd bring it out, give him a hand. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Very Standing deserving. ovation for Cameron Dollar. Yeah. Fine career for that young man. I see his opponent, Donnie Thompson, who's a good friend of his, giving him a big round of applause as the clock strikes zero. That is it, 67-59. Lingaman's advancing to Saturday night, third round, eliminating their arch rival, winning for the fourth time in 2016-17. Good ball game, Spoke. Yeah, and uh, everything stayed clean for out most of the way, so that's good to see. We'll come back now with the Marburger Chrysler Jeep Dodge post-game show after these commercial breaks and timeouts. High school basketball, 1050 AM, KBCBroadcasting.com, and the Ustream app on your mobile device. The lowest prices on quality automobiles just got lower at Millholland Automotive in Lincoln. Millholland Automotive in Lincoln is having a year-end clearance sale. Prices have been slashed on every unit in stock. Save thousands of dollars on your next vehicle. At Millholland Automotive in Lincoln, you get 1.9% financing with approved credit, and they are the king of zero money down, plus a warranty on every vehicle. Mill Holland Automotive, 423 West Main Street in Lincoln, online at millhollandautomotive.com. Dine in, carry out, or use their convenient drive through window at Mitchum's Kitchen in Vail. You'll find Northbrook's finest in food. As a matter of fact, the finest food anywhere. And for a special treat, order one of the big blooming onions. From barbecue to fish to steaks, hamburgers and hot dogs, they've got it all at Mitchum's Kitchen in Vail. Open for breakfast, too. And be sure to like them on Facebook for their specials and Sunday lunch menus. And they do catering no matter how big or small. Call Mitchum's Kitchen today, located at the intersection of Highway 27 West and Highway 274 in Vail. I said where I come from, it's cornbread and chicken, where I come from. 
Dr. John L. Cloninger III of Lincoln will brighten your smiles with professional cosmetic dentistry and smile enhancement procedures for everyone. Even Duke fans will smile at the work of this Tar Heel. The office of Dr. John L. Cloninger III is located at 904 Doncha Drive. For an appointment, call 704-735-0765. That's 704-735-0765. And John III says best wishes to all high school athletes. Maybe a punctuation mark on a career night for Bryce Johnson. ATV fans, the 2017 Yamaha Grizzly and Kodiak 700s are at Full Throttle Power Sports in Law. The more powerful than ever Grizzly is engineered for the all-day trail excursions on the toughest terrain. And the Kodiak 700 delivers class best performance and value, starting at just $69.99. Visit Full Throttle Power Sports today. Yamaha ATVs, real world tough. Full Throttle Power Sports, exit 22 at I-85 in Law. You don't pull a mask off at old Lone Ranger and you don't mess around with Jim. But... Breakfast time is the right time to be at the Home Place Restaurant, Highway 27, two miles west of Lincoln. Check out their breakfast specials this month. Get your choice of a breakfast sandwich along with tea or coffee for just $3.99. But that's not all. Try their big country breakfast. Two eggs, your choice of bacon, sausage, liver mush, and a pancake. All for just $4.25 at the Home Place Restaurant. Highway 27, two miles west of Lincoln. Now open for Sunday lunch too. Whenever you need me, I'll be there. Now's the time to head to West End Sales in Vail for some great deals on Coyote. Like the Coyote UTV with top and winch starting at 11.9 and get 0% financing. And see the new Coyote 3510, 34 horsepower tractor, only 17.9. And the big Coyote RX Series four wheel drive tractor with cab and loader starting at 37,000. And see the big line of Big Tex trailers, over 40 in stock, 3.99% financing for 54 months with approved credit. West End Sales, 110 North Highway 18 in Vail, online at westendsales.com. Sleep apnea is the interruption of sleep by a blockage to breathing. Eight million Americans go undiagnosed for sleep apnea. Dr. John L. Cloninger III of Lincoln can help you with sleep apnea problems. John III is a member of the American Academy of Dental Sleep Medicine. He can help you now overcome the symptoms of obstructive sleep apnea, such as excessive daytime sleep, loud snoring, episodes of breathing cessation where you stop breathing, dry mouth and sore throat, morning headaches, insomnia, attention problems, and more. John III is concerned that patients don't know there are treatments for obstructive sleep apnea, from CPAP to dental appliances or even surgery. John III offers a free consultation for anyone with symptoms of sleep apnea. Just call 704-735-0765 or come by 904 Doncha Drive in Lincoln to make an appointment. Sleep longer, smile brighter, live happier. Let Dr. John L. Cloninger III put his 21 years of dentistry experience to work for you. You don't pull a mask off at home. All right, back we are. Derek and Evan on the Marburger Chrysler Jeep Dodge postgame show. Final score, Lincoln in 67. East Lincoln 59. Lincoln will now take on the winner of the North Surrey Randleman game Saturday night right here at the gym in Lincoln. And our broadcast coming up at 645 right here, kbcbroadcasting.com, 1050 a.m. and the Ustream app. Smoke's got the final number, Smoke. Yes, uh, first for the visiting East Lincoln Mustangs. Sydney Dollar came away, uh, didn't have the most points, but did almost everything else. Seven points, nine rebounds, eight assists, and two blocks. So he was doing all, everything but scoring almost for the Lincoln, uh, East Lincoln Mustangs. Cameron Dollar did pretty much all the scoring tonight. For the Mustangs, 42 points and eight rebounds. So Cameron tried to will East Lincoln as far as they could, and unfortunately it was for a eight-point loss for the Mustangs. John Bean, seven rebounds, one assist, and one point quiet night for him. Alec Burleson just could not get it going shooting-wise. He had no points, uh, three assists, and one rebound. And J Alden Horn had three points as he was uh, one of the starters tonight. And Luke... Zirkel, no, Luke Zirkel did not have anything. Ben Zirkel did have a rebound and a quiet night for Colson Leach, who did not play most of the second half. Six points, one assist, and one rebound. And now for the Lincoln Wolves, as 
Tyshawn Harris had two points and one rebound. Chris Robinson, 13 points, three assists, two rebounds, got it going in the second half. Sage Surratt, average night for him, basically. 31 points, 10 rebounds, and six assists, a double-double. As Robbie Cowley, pretty quiet after that hot start in the first few minutes, six points, three rebounds. Young Cheryl having another good night here tonight, especially down the stretch, 10 points and seven rebound, eight rebounds, one assist. And Langdon Givens, five points and one assist. And Skyler Evans also got on the stat sheet with one rebound. All right, our West End sales player of the game, Evan. Has to go to Sage Surratt. He was money for out most of the time on the free throw line. He set the offense, got it going. Uh, he's He deserves to be Weston Sales player of the game. Only got to get a double-double uh, tonight. So great night from Sage Surratt as usual. Subway, sub of the game. You know, this is a hard choice because none of the bench guys really had that big of an impact in the game tonight. But Tyshawn Harris had showed off his physical attributes of having the leaping ability that we haven't seen from a guy that small. He had two points and one rebound, both of those, because of his leaping ability. Final thoughts? Uh, well, if you're East Lincoln, you know, it's got to sting a lot that you lose to this team four times. Like, you know, it's the flip side from last year right. for, uh, for East Lincoln this time. But, you know, considering all the circumstances that started this year for the Mustangs, I think they pulled off a very good season. And uh, I feel like they're going to be in good shape come next year because I know you're losing Cameron Dollar, but you're still going to have Colson Leach, John Bean, both the Zirkles, and you're also going to have Sydney Dollar as well. Now, the question is, can those guys improve and take the next step next year? All right, we'll see you back here Saturday against either North Surrey or Randleman, 645 pregame show, kdcbroadcasting.com, 1050 a.m., the Ustream app. Till then, for Evan, Derek, saying so long, everybody. Have a great rest of the week. See you back from basketball this week.